everyone, I hope you're well. So for today's video, I decided I wanted to do a what's in my bag video. But I wanted to make it a little bit more fun. I feel like this has been done so many times. Being as it is now December and everyone has a lot of Christmas parties coming up, I'm sure. I decided to put a little spin on it and do a what's in my party clutch bag instead. As you can see, this bag is overflowing at the moment. I have put everything I use in my daily handbag in here and obviously you cannot do that when you're going to parties with a small clutch bag. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you what is staying and what is going, all the things you need to take with you on a night out and all the things that I'm gonna be saying goodbye to for my clutch bag. So let's get straight on to the video. First up, this is the party clutch bag that I will probably be using this season. I've had it for a couple of years and I actually got it from a charity shop. There's an amazing kind of vintage charity shop in Peterborough and I picked this up for a couple of pounds and I absolutely adore it. It's perfect, navy blue, kind of goes with everything, has straps, which is a must have if you want to dance and you don't want to be carrying a bag. And it is quite roomy, but saying that I don't want it to be as chunky as this. So let's have a look inside and see what we can get rid of. So, keys. I always keep my keys on a lanyard so that I can find them easily. Otherwise, I have a complete freak out whenever I look in my bag for my keys. Because I'm like, oh, they've been stolen, I've lost them. But this you do not need because it's going to take up far too much room. So I'm going to get rid of that and just take the keys I need for the night. Next up, perfume. So normally I carry around something like this in my handbag. Like a small miniature um, perfume. This one's from Jo Malone. It's the Elderflower and Gooseberry. It's limited edition. Oh, it's so good. But when you're going out with a clutch bag, you want something tinier. So I've got a couple of options here. Some perfumers do little bottles like this, like even miniature, miniature bottles. I'll show you for size comparison. This one is from YSL and it's black opium. It's absolutely delicious. But if you've got an even smaller bag and you've got less room, then it might be worth seeing if your favorite perfume counter does little like atomizers like this, like tiny little ones that you can get I don't know, like 20 uses out of. So here I've got Victor and Rolf's Spice Bomb. It's a male fragrance, but I absolutely love it for nights out because it's very kind of sensual and sexy. I absolutely love wearing this fragrance. And also Lush do some solid perfumes, which is another great idea, especially if you're going to a festival or something and perfumes are banned, then something like a solid perfume that you can just rub on to your skin. Always good to chuck into your party clutch bag. So you obviously need to take your phone on a night out and I have recently been using the Alcatel Idol 4. I am absolutely loving this phone. The reason I wanted to show you this today was because it makes the perfect bag companion. It has so many good features, especially the camera, so I'm really excited to partner up with them to show you some of them today. You don't need to carry a mirror around with this phone because it has a front flash on the camera so you can take perfect selfies in dark lighting. Also means that you don't need to carry around an extra camera in your clutch bag this party season. I used to always always carry a camera around and it just always used to make my bag so bulky and it was just unnecessary. So now that I've got this, don't need to carry a camera around. It also has something called a real-time beauty feature which is amazing it's one of my favorite features on the camera there's basically a little button that you can press with a little woman and it tracks your face so when you move the tracking follows it but it also smooths and airbrushes your skin which is a godsend why hasn't anyone done this before so yeah you can see your face in real time all smoothed and blurred out and then when you take a picture it kind, you kind of just look amazing. It basically makes you look like that amazing Snapchat filter with the butterflies or the flower crown. It kind of just makes you look more perfect, more pristine. If you love Instagram, if you love selfies, you are going to love this feature. It just makes me feel a whole lot um, more confident when taking selfies. So yeah, absolutely love that. It also has like slow-mo mode, manual mode, so you can like control every aspect of your camera and your phone, including the ISO white balance, etc. And another thing I love is that it comes in a gold color as well, which is super festive, super on trend. I've got the black one here today, but the gold one is beautiful. So if you are interested in this, I will leave all the links down below. It is available from Carphone Warehouse. Also, just want to show you this. It's not really relevant to the video, but I really want to show you it. It comes with a virtual reality headset. I've been playing this so much since getting it, and it is so good. Oh my gosh, there's a scary one already pre, like, 
pot on the phone and it's petrifying I've watched like a minute of it but I'm way too scared to watch the whole thing so yeah I love this you basically just slip the phone onto here pop the straps on put your headphones in and it is so good it's a lot of fun and just technology is getting amazing guys now I normally carry around two purses I have a wallet with my cards and like my Oyster card and my ID in and I also have a little coin purse but there is no way I need both of these so what I would normally do is get some money out beforehand and just slip a note or two into this wallet it's thin it doesn't take up much room and it's easy to find in your bag so yeah I really love kind of small little wallets like this and normally if I just get any change on a night out then I just chuck it at the bottom of my bag and then the next morning I'll go back up and put them back into my coin purse you always need gum on a night out my favorite is Mentos pure fresh it's so good so good Mentos I have a lot of hair and if you're anything like me it, you normally carry around a hairbrush so I normally carry around like a small tangle teaser in my handbag but not today no there's no way I'm fitting that into this tiny clutch so instead I normally bag up a couple of hair bands curvy grips and kind of just hair clips that way you can kind of make the messy look work you can whack it all on top of your head in a pineapple and, and rock it and <laughs> rock the pineapple head you can do it girls right for makeup there's no way this makeup bag is going in so I've kind of narrowed down some of my favorite multitasking products you don't need to carry around your whole entire makeup bag firstly I can get rid of my mirror there is no need for me to carry around a big bulky mirror when I have a perfectly good camera on my Alcatel phone definitely no need to carry a blusher around so what I like to do is carry around a lip product which is multitasking that you can also use on your cheeks first up is a lip tint from Lush this this is actually great because it's also a lip balm my lips are so dry at the moment especially as we're coming into winter as well they get even drier so this lip balm is kind of um, colored it's a really beautiful natural color and you can just rub that onto your cheeks and blend it in no need for a br brush either for that so that's a great multitasking product for both lips and cheeks and secondly I've absolutely been obsessed with this Giorgio Armani lip magnet in the shade 504 I've actually got a review of this coming up on my blog very soon but again it's just such a beautiful nudie shade which you can pat on your lips and also pat on your cheeks and just blend in so any kind of multitasking products like these you can get both of these in different shades if you wanted a red then just make it a little bit more subtle I always like to carry around an eyeshadow brush with me on a night out just in case you never know what's gonna happen so I find double-ended ones always perfect one end is kind of like a dome pencil brush to help smoke out the underneath of your eyes if they get a little bit I don't know just disheveled you can just blend it out again make it look intentional and the other end is like a pointed angle brush just if you need to clean up your eyeliner or your brows so yeah I always love a double-ended brush this is always always with me I always carry around a concealer I'm loving the NARS creamy I think it's the radiant creamy I can't remember what this is called I think it's called the oh radiant creamy concealer I was there I was nearly there I always carry this around with me again always need an eyeliner as well cannot live without eyeliners but to narrow down my whole entire makeup bag to just four products I think is fantastic so that is everything in my little clutch bag. I'm ready to go for the evening. If you do the same as me, you might have some extra room in your clutch bag, which is always a plus. So if I had more room, I would add in perhaps some paracetamol. You can put a pair of those fold up shoes in your bag for when your feet start hurting at the end of the evening. And there's always the option if you have room for a portable phone charger, if your phone dies after taking all those selfies. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Do comment below and let me know what your party clutch bag essentials are if you have an alcatel phone let me know as well let's discuss the real time beauty feature because i'm obsessed and be safe this christmas don't get up to mischief at your christmas parties and have a lovely day bye be sure to subscribe and have a lovely festive season at your christmas parties bye